For those of you who can't suppress that urge to drive a car at its limits and can't afford a full-fledged race car, autocrossing is the sport for you. An autocross is a timed speed event usually held on a large parking lot with a course defined by pylons. Cars run one at a time against the clock. Speeds are relatively low, usually no higher than 60 miles an hour, due to the many tight corners. This puts the emphasis on handling and driving ability. This has been a great car for me. It's 1992. I drive it to work every day, and um, I've been able to autocross it on the weekends, and about the only modifications I've had to do to it is change my wheels. I have a different set of tires on there that have more grip um, for when I'm autocrossing, so I just have that on the day that I'm autocrossing, the rest of the time I'm able to drive it to work, and um, it's worked out really well for me. The best part about autocrossing is that there's a class for every type of car. You can race the car you drive to work every day, or you can prepare a car specifically for autocrossing and compete in one of the modified classes. Cars are grouped according to their modifications and their speed and handling potential. They go faster when they're clean, you know. <laughs> uh, it's a 1984 Dutton Phaeton kit car. It was made in England and uh, shipped over to me by way of California in 1984. Spent about a year and a half in my garage putting it together. The investment has been very small. Um, I just have tires and wheels and then just more precise tuning of the car. In this event, there is no practice, so competitors must learn the course and determine how they will drive it by walking it and analyzing it turn by turn. When I'm coming along this corner, I'll be on the right-hand side but over here, but I need to kind of um, go to the left and then make this corner tight and apex pry after the double cones there. I, my goal is to straighten out the, the um, very sharp corners in that area and just be able to try and make my car go straight through all the cones there. I basically try to empty my mind of thoughts about anything except the course itself. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do when I go on the course. I don't trust primarily because uh, I enjoy the heck out of driving a car to the limits, and it's not something you can do on the street. Uh, the competition is really good. We've got a class with at least one other driver over a very, got very tight competition. And it's the kind of a thing where the responsibility is entirely yours. Uh, I built the car, I tuned the car, I drive the car. If I win, I get the credit. If I lose, it's my fault. I decided to autocross because I came out to a driving school here and um, just to learn how to handle my car better and know the, learn the limits of my car. And then what happened is I got so excited about the thrill of driving fast and being able to um, corner my car and um, the challenge of doing better like every time that I um, run, a, run a course and I try and better my times and better, better the way that I handle my car. There's just such a challenge there, and I find that really exciting. I've had so much fun doing this sport. It's not unusual for drivers to share information they've learned about the course with their competition. The event is done for fun and trophies, but it's fiercely competitive when they're behind the wheel. Well, I'm doing pretty good. I've come down in my times really quite steadily, but um, I have a BMW 325 and he's about a second faster than me and then I also have Rose and she's in another Miata and she's about a half a second faster than me so I need to go a little bit faster. I've learned how to drive my car better through autocrossing and um, there's been a lot of different skills that I've learned through that sport that I've been able to transfer that when for my everyday driving. If I get into emergency situation I know what my car can do. I know that through braking and through the handling of my car, I know the limits of my car. And so I know how fast I can stop and what I can do to get out of that situation. Well, that was my last run out, and I hit, hit a couple pylons. Those are worth two seconds each. And so I had a pretty good time, but ended up in third place. The sport of autocrossing is about people. People having safe, competitive fun with cars learning car control skills, and just having a great time.